Hi there, thank you very much for passing by and started watching this video tutorial. I know that you are interested to learn Flutter and this is part one of the complete Flutter tutorial series for absolute beginners. In this series, I'm going to teach you everything about Flutter and the plus point of this series will be that I will teach you Flutter without installing it on the computer. But before I start the video tutorial, I must announce that either before watching or after watching this video tutorial, if you are not going to like it, then you might not see the next part of this awesome video tutorial series. So don't forget to press the like and if you are new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon and turn on all the notifications. So as soon as I got 100 likes on this video, I will publish the next part and you will get the notification of it. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial. Okay, so first let's talk about that what is Flutter and where we can use it. So answer to this question is that Flutter is a tool or you can say it's an SDK or a framework for cross-platform and native mobile app development using Materialite, Visit and Dart programming language. This tool, I mean Flutter is developed and widgetized by Google but there are also many third-party widgets available online for Flutter which you can use to enhance your cross-platform mobile app, app experience, I mean the look and feel of your mobile app. Here I'm not going to talk too much about a Dart programming language, I mean in this complete series I'm not going to talk about too much talk about this uh, uh, Dart programming language because as we move on we will get to know different pros and cons and how to use the Dart on, Dart on uh, I mean the Dart programming language so I'm not going to talk too much about Dart programming language in this series. Next you might ask me that why should I use Fl Flutter or why should I learn Flutter when there are other tools also available like you know React Native, Vue Native, Xcode, Zarmin Forms which is from Microsoft and there is Android Studio with Kotlin or Java and there is also Xcode which you can use to create mobile apps using uh, Swift or Objective-C. So my reply to you will be that Flutter is a cross-platform in native mobile app development framework and you can use it to write code once then compile it for different mobile platforms for example your iOS device or for the Android device. Furthermore you can use Flutter to develop web apps and desktop apps as well which is also a nice feature of Flutter and encourages anyone to learn it at least it encourages me to learn it okay and if you want to know more about Flutter then you can visit its official website which is flutter.dev which you can see right now on my computer screen and you can read out more about Flutter that's why it is so popular these days even Google Trends will show you that Flutter is much more popular than other tools which I mentioned earlier. I know that you might argue with me that because Flutter is a Google product that might be the reason Google Trends shows that Flutter is more popular than other frameworks. Google too much, uh, uh, I mean, uh, advertise it or something like that. But I must say that forget about it and just focus that you are here watching this video tutorial means you are interested to learn it and wants to know more about it. So start learning it. By the way, as I mentioned earlier that Flutter use materialized components or widgets which makes the apps look more elegant and stylish on both iOS and Android platforms. So it's enough talking about Flutter and hopefully till this point you already impressed to press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. So moving forward, as in the start, I said I'm not going to teach you that how to install Flutter, but I'm going to teach you how to use Flutter without installing it on any system, either it's you are on a Mac, Linux or Window. The reason behind this is that Google provides us a very powerful online editor which helps us to create, build, run, save and share over Flutter program online. But of course, if you are not interested to use online tool and prefer to work say, in offline mode or offline environment 
and wants to install Flutter on your system, then simply download the compressed file according to what operating system you are using. After that, simply set up environment and you are good to go. I'm sure you already know how to set up environment according to your operating system as I am on Mac. So I know I should use set path in Z shell as it's my default shell environment for Mac OS Catalina and on my terminal it's a default shell as well so enough talking so let's open our online editor and start seeing some code written in flutter so in my browser i will open a new tab here and simply going to type uh, dartpad.dev so dartpad.dev is the website where you can create your flutter apps not only flutter apps you can create dart apps as well you can run dart code as well on it we will see time to time so now when you are here you will see a default program something like this and you can adjust this and this editor as your preferred and you can see that it's using based on dart sdk 2.7.2 version and if you look on the right side here you see many samples the first four samples are from the dart and the last four are from the flutter itself so this is uh, if you see here on the right side this is the default flutter app when you run your flutter app uh, default flutter app on your computer you will get this default program which you can see over here as well and if you run it you will see the same output which you will see on your computer as well so if i run it it will be compiled and will be executed inside this editor and will be shown here on the right panel. Just wait for a few seconds and you will see the output here. There you go. You see, this is the default Flutter demo homepage. And even if you install it on your local machine and create the, your first default project, you will get something like this. And there will be a plus button, uh, which you can, I think this plus button is not showing complete plus anyways, whatever. So if you click here, plus button, you can see the increment and you can make changes to this program as you like. And uh, furthermore, I will show you in the next upcoming video tutorials, how to enhance this demo app. And plus I will show you how to start from the scratch. So you don't need a default code. You can start from the scratch, but this is just an introduction to the Dart language as well as sorry to the Flutter language as well as to the Dart pad. I'm not going to introduce you Dart about Dart programming too much because then it will be running two things in my mind. But I want to keep my focus on only Flutter programming language for sorry Flutter SDK and will teach you how to use different widgets of Flutter and design your cross platform in native mobile apps using Flutter with Dart programming language. Okay, so guys, this is it. And this was a quick introduction to Flutter SDK or Flutter framework and the Dart pad on online editor. And I'm sure you liked it and are interested to learn more about Flutter. So if you are, then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. With that, I'm your host on Tech Tech Tools, signing off. Take care and goodbye.